was very intentional about ensuring that we have diverse voices from the black community at the table. We've adopted the Toronto Action Plan to confront anti-black racism. Change came for our community in the way that we were seen. My name is Anthony Morgan. I am the manager of the Confronting Anti-Black Racism Unit. We have a five-year plan from 2018 to 2022. Year two was focused very much on wanting to make sure that we are continuing to advance the interests and the activities aimed at bettering outcomes for black communities. A lot of the power that you see in black communities across the world come from living in proximity together. So when you start to break us up, when you start to gentrify us, you pull our power from under us. And so going in places around holding that power, holding that culture, and making sure the city honors the value of historically black neighborhoods across the city. The CABR's action plan with the 22 actions I identified a number of key initiatives. And as part of that, the mayor recognized that the business support wasn't as fulsome as it should be. For us, our you know, main work is around the preservation of the Little Jamaica legacy um, and you know, creating a space for African Caribbean entrepreneurship. One of the key priorities in the Confronting Anti-Black Racism Plan pertains to employment and job opportunities for Black Torontonians. So the Black Staff Network is meant to engage Black staff, provide opportunities for professional development, mentorship, um, and also as an advocacy body. I was applying to jobs every weekend and, you know, I got, thank, thankfully I got the job with CABR. After I started working with CABR as an intern, um, I applied for another position as a support assistant. And then after that, I got another position as a hub coordinator. And now currently I'm working as a vaccine operations support specialist at the City of Toronto. The TTC is committed to an anti-racism strategy and we've also adopted the Toronto Action Plan to confront anti-black racism. And the goal is to really create meaningful, systemic change. Desegregated data is extremely important. It is the only form of evidence that we have as black people to explain why we are having the experiences that we're having in this city in particular. There is no reason why it shouldn't be happening. We addressed all of the barriers that were put in front of us, and collectively we were able to come up with a policy. It's the first policy in Canada that mandates a police service to collect data and to be accountable to the black community. 